already hit the button. Hello and welcome oh. to another exciting episode of Token Podcast. I'm your host and sometimes referee, the friendly neighborhood. I took my braids out, Zach Stat Pearson, except no substitutes. And today I'm joined by he who is being expedited, a one officer 9000 plus one. Hey, how are y'all doing today? And I'm also joined by uh, Queen of the Chaos Gremlins, Beater of the Gates of Baldur's, for the third time at least, a yeah. one honeybee. Hi, I'm a fucking mess. How you doing? Hello, mess. Hello. <laughs> I like that you two have this weird little synergy thing going on. Um... <laughs> Okay. All right. So, uh, as if the title didn't already, you know, wet your whistle, we're going to be talking about that good Final Fantasy shit. Um, mm -hmm. What channel did I put those topic answers in? Was it texting page? I believe yes, it was. So. All right. So, I'm just going to uh, import these. Yeah, I'm going to import these into TokenCast. And I'm going to, once I do that, drop it like it's hot. I am going to activate whiteboard. Wow, holy shit, it loaded the old one. I'll be damned. That's nostalgic. It has wow. to die. Ah. Oh, well. Create new. There we go. Ooh, fuck. Evil white. No. That shit burned my eyes. Board name, FF7 Theories. They've been upgrading this as they go. I didn't even realize that they went through 35 different versions. That's kind of insane. 35 versions of whiteboard? Yeah. yeah. It'll tell you in the bottom left-hand corner, this is build 35. Hmm. Well, I guess it means they're actively working on it and fixing bugs. Yeah. Hey, Good officer, uh, can you go on a texting page at everyone and tell them... Uh, hey, we've started FFF7 Theories. If they want to join, feel free to do so. All right. So for those of you who can view this, um, I'm going to let you know right now that if you see something get recited, it's not because we think you guys can't read. It's because there's also going to be an audio version of this podcast, and we need to make sure that some things are universal for the consumer. I, th mm -hmm. I think that's the proper term. Not sure. Don't quote me. So our topics will be Final Fantasy. Wow, that is not the topics. That is the chronological order that I gave to someone else because I'm not paying attention. Yeah, I was about to say that, uh, that stuff was in uh, scheduling. Where the fuck is the list of shit we're going to talk about? You said it's in scheduling? Yep. Okay. First uh, post of the day. Gotcha. So, yeah. All right. Um. Oh, you can make it a pop-out window now. Cool. All right. So I'm going to put this in here. And this text box came out hella weird. Can I change its format? I think I can, actually. No, I cannot. Nope. No, no, I cannot. Oh, I'm just going to pull the camera out. All right. So first thing we're going to discuss is, are you liking that there will be plot reorganization or do you want things to be in the original order? Should have used the question mark. Um, what are your alteration theories? What are your altern alternate? Blah. What are your alternative? Alter yeah. 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 <laughs> alternative theories, theories of what they're two. changing. Part two theories on what they're changing specifically only for part two of the remake. What new features and gameplay alterations are you most interested in and why? And while you're answering that officer, I'm going to change this color to black to make it easier to read and fix those grammar parts. Officer, can you, did you hear me? Hmm? Yeah. All right. So uh, I'm, I'm going to be starting this off then. All right. For topic one, 
of uh, discussing how they're changing the plot and the like. So, as a slight callback back to FF7 Remake, when I saw those plot ghost things and found out, oh, this is what they are, I immediately took a liking to that new direction they were taking everything. I don't want this game to be kind of like the same old boat going down the same canal it did way back in the day just with a fresh coat of paint and a new engine. I want them to, you know, take this in a new direction. Do, you know, various plot events, maybe alter the order of them. Hell, maybe they could even do what they did for Remake and add entirely new areas that, you know, weren't in the original. They could even maybe skip over some areas and include them in a possible a later maybe final third part unless they just try to drop a fourth part whatever you get what i'm saying there but they could just do something new with all this they did with you know remake with ff7 remake so they should continue doing new things with ff7 rebirth just you know they got to make sure it's fun, like Remake was. I don't doubt they're going to do that. That it's not going to be fun, but you know, just one of those things. But one last little like kind of thing that I'm going to include on this as a maybe a kind of uh, segue into the next one. I think they should include uh, Zach's hometown, Gangaga, as a bigger role in the plot because it look it's looking like zach's gonna be playing a much bigger role in this you know ff7 rebirth so i think it'd be a good idea to maybe do a bit more with his house or with his hometown now on to topic two the theories of what sorts of things they're going to be changing and including into this uh FF7 Rebirth. I think those uh, deep ground dudes, you know, that organization that showed up in Dirge of Cerberus, and yeah. then they also showed up in uh, the uh, Yuffie uh, kind of uh, interlude story. I think they're going to be playing a bigger role. Because you don't just drop something like that and not make a bigger, like a much bigger use of it. Maybe they're going to be like uh, Rufus Shinra's secret police or something. Or maybe they're not going to be working for him at all and they're going to be working for some like unknown other third party. But I think they're going to play a big role regardless. And the other thing I'm thinking that they're going to have, because they only really had two for this one, is I think there's going to be two Sephiroths active at the same time. I mean, that was How kind of always a thing, but I guess technically you can't call them Sephiroths. It was actual Sephiroths and lookalikes and Genova shits. Genova. No, 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 no. That's not what I mean. No, I know what, what you I mean. mean. You mean like literally two Sephiroths. Yeah, like you have the Sephiroth that should be here and the one who, you know, is the uh, escaped from his timeline, which was apparently Advent Children Sephiroth. And yeah. they're both going to be active at the same time. How they'll interact with each other, I'm not sure. Maybe, uh, you know, the one that already went through everything will be like kind of like a sort of older brother kind of figure to the other Sephiroth. Or maybe they'll be slightly antagonistic towards each other. Maybe, you know, the the Sephiroth that should be there, rather than the one who jumped in from another timeline, will be really like, hmm, I don't I, 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 I can't trust other me or something like that. But, uh, yeah, I think that'd be an interesting direction to take things. Just, I hope they don't do really stupid shit with it. I mean, technically, technically, 
Nomura didn't write the story. True. You got exactly what I was thinking there. Bro, the whole entire internet has been thinking that shit since Kingdom Uh. Hearts 2 came out. True that. So, as for topic three, what, you know, uh, fe- uh, new features and gameplay alterations and the like, I gotta say, that uh, party team-up thing that they initially showed off on the enemy side with uh, the Rufus boss fight, and then in the Yuffie Integrate story, had it for, you know, actual player use, I want to see where they can go with that. Because they showed it off I- initially with the Rufus fight, then, you know, the Yuffie side story. I want to see them refine that even further. Like, what sort of crazy combos or, uh, you know, kind of combination attacks could we get with party members? Hell, maybe they'll even have it where you can get, th- like, all three of your active party members you know, doing a sort of, uh, like, coordination sort of thing. Rather than just two, have it where it's, like, all of them. That... Bro, I'm gonna I'm help you out real quick. Just say Chrono Trigger. Eh. Yeah, I I, I guess you're kind of right on that, yeah. I've been Pull, saying you know, since 2018, Chrono Trigger. Just give us Chrono yeah. Trigger combos. And they did. Yeah. I, I want to see, you know, triple techniques. Hold on Help. a second. Hold on a second. Hey, Honeybee, can you please move your icon? It's getting in uh, getting in the way of the screen. Oh, shit. The I didn't even realize that was showing up. My bad. No, no, no. It's fine. No, it's fine. I just want the audience to see her suffering. Continue. Oh, yeah. I get it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we love the fail queen. <laughs> well, excuse me. But yeah, that, it, that whole setup... When they introduced that, that shit was exciting. That Yuffie side story, it was, it was short, but it was, it was pretty decent story. But what really got me about that side, that Yuffie side story, that integrate was that when they had that, that your party members working together, doing team attacks, that was awesome. I want to see more of that. I want to see where they're going to go with that. Like, what sort of weird combinations you can get with, like, anyone working with uh, Aerith. What? Like, what? maybe... We don't say that name in this house, goddammit. I love... I, yes. My baby. All right, well, my precious all right whatever. She's perfect. Fight me. But, uh, okay. like, s- sorts of weird, <laughs> you know, combinations you can get with uh, Aerith's abilities. Because, you, you know, she's got kind that of name? magic God shit. damn it. I said Aerith. You Just got angry the at me. Then I said Aerith. Just say the corpse. Right, whatever. But you get, you know, her fighting style, which is so notably different from everyone else. What sort of weird combination attacks are we going to get there? I mean, it's kind of obvious, but okay. Uh, true. I, I would like For to some. see what they come up with. I, okay. I think they could uh, do a lot like, I don't know when you came in on Final Fantasy, but I'm, I'm going to just give you two words real quick. Red Mage. When you put her together with anyone, that person becomes a Red Mage. Uh, true. True, that could work. Yeah, they, they, they showed anything she did with Cloud, Red Mage. They didn't show any Tifa com- oh, wait, They showed one com- Tifa combination. It was basically still Red Mage, but since the concept of a monk and a Red Mage doing a, a, a Red Mage monk doesn't exist, they essentially just said, okay, let's just have her be defensive. So she uses defensive magic, whereas Tifa did the regular physical attacks that are now infused with mm. magic. So essentially yeah. she turned Tifa into the Avatar. Now, what about, say, Vincent and Barrett? Well, first off, you know you're not going to play Vincent, so I don't know why you said that. Uh, I don't know. We might. No, they Vincent's said it cool. five times. Oh, they outright confirmed it? Damn, I guess Oh, I wait, really? That. Yeah, and God apparently oh, I well. can't get fucking sick. Do you know how mad I am I can't get sick? God damn it, I'm so pissed. 
So what, uh, those two are going to well, be playable in what, part three? Unfortunately. Probably. Fine, well, I'll wait. damn. Oh, well. I'll wait. No, you won't. You're going to get two just like the rest of us. Now, uh, other than that battle system and how they're going to make it a lot more interesting with this party team-up stuff, I I just want to see what sort of other mini games they're going to get. They showed a f like a few like in, in sort of flash frames during uh, uh, one or two of the pr uh, previews that they uh, put out or trailers they put out, and that shit, I want to see it. I want to see more. Can I want to see say what kind of shit they gold get. Gold saucer is like the greatest cock tease ever because there's no ro there's no wrong way to do it. I fucking I love, love gold saucer. I mean. If they had it where it didn't have any mini games, that'd be the wrong way to do it. Well, no, but here's that's what not they did. The they said, "Guess what? You get new, you get more mini games over time just by going back to Gold Saucer." I was like, "Oh fuck yes!" That, mm, damn, that's that's some good shit. Yep, <laughs> yeah, exactly. that mm, that's gonna be some exciting shit. Man, Hell it, yeah. that is almost as fun as watching Aerith die. Ah. <sighs> Oh, I feel like given the present company that we're in, I'm not just saying that to fuck with you. I've actually been saying that all month. Oh, I know. Yeah, they're... Yes, yes. They might kill her off. What the fuck you mean, might? Why did you say might? I... No, I think I think it's a definite might, too. And I'll, I'll get into my oh theories my, in a minute. I am so happy I'm going to destroy y'all dreams today. Eh. Eh. Yeah. You can we'll try. See. We'll uh, see. We'll see. I'm going to hold that hope. That's like about it for me for my response to that. Okay. I kind of want to crush dreams, not yours. Your, your dreams are very nice, officer. But hmm. I also don't know if I want to cut the Hydra's head off. So I'm just going to let you go first, and I can't wait to give you so much despair. I mean, you cut the Hydra's head off two more, bro. Yeah, that's the worst part about Aerith fans. I, I can't get rid of them. Hmm. I feel I'm like so I confused. actually have friends that are Aerith fans just to spite me. I honestly feel that way sometimes. Me over here looking at my Aerith cosplay in, in the closet right now. Oh yes, yes, me over the here using the free AI to put in the words Sephiroth killing Aerith in the AI image generator. I wonder what's gonna show up. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's hey. your turn, why are you quiet? Well, isn't there a third question? Oh, no, wait, you already answered that one, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> um, okay, I guess back to question number one. Um, are you liking that there will be plot reorganization, or do you want things to be in the original order? Listen, I played the original game more times than I could even count since, like, 2007 when it came out. I've been playing Final Fantasy for a very, very, very long time. I played just about all of them. But um I don't if if I wanted the exact same game, I would replay the exact same game. I would I would go I would go boot up my my PS1, I'd play the original. I'd be perfectly happy doing that. But why would I bother like you know, why would I bother with that? Personally, I'm obsessed with the changes that they made in remake. I think it's awesome. I was so fucking excited about that. And I am so excited for the potential changes to come. Um, I'm just glad to see <laughs> uh, Final Fantasy doing something new and interesting. Because it has been a while. It I like, has. Yeah. I feel like for a while, Final Fantasy was just kind of like the same fucking game over and over oh. again. And none of them felt different. It kind of just felt like the same recycled garbage. So this is new. This is interesting. And yes, it's a very familiar world and it's so lovingly made. I stopped for hours in a remake just to like look at the environments. And you can tell that it's made by a team of people who absolutely adored the original. And they adored it enough to keep making it interesting. So yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> I want to see things completely go... What? Not you, continue. Oh, okay. I want to see things go completely off the fucking rails. Surprise me. Keep surprising me. Now, 
Um, alternative theories for part two. You have incurred my breath. So I think Aerith can be saved. I have reasons for thinking that. <laughs> I think I, you know, you're laughing like you know something. Yes. But honestly, what the fuck do you know? That's why I wanted you to go first, so it'll hurt more when it's my turn. What? What? What, what do you know? Oh, look! Here's the mute button. <laughs> okay. Uh... All right. All right. Whatever. I'm gonna say I think it's I think it's gonna be possible to save her this time. Um, and I also believe in my heart of hearts that Sephiroth is somehow gonna be playable. I, I mean, like are you not looking at YouTube? I am avoiding. Spoilers or anything. Did you as say much spoilers in a well, game that you beat 20 years ago? Okay, I mean, again, it's, well, listen, it's a different game. Okay. It's not the same game that we play. Fair, but let me remind you of something. What's the first thing you th you saw in the very first trailer? Cloud and Sephiroth on the same team. It's even in the demo. You're going to play okay, Sephiroth. Well, okay, well, Nibelheim, I mean, like... yeah. Well, yeah, you're going to play the Nibelheim flashback. Fine, whatever, but... I mean, I think he's going to actually join up. Genuinely. Ha. Huh. You know, that <laughs> yeah. kind of goes back to what I mentioned of, you know, With maybe two, there'll be two, two Sephiroth. Sephiroths active. I think we're going to get a Sephiroth mm. that's a little bit more like the one that we saw in, um, in um, Crisis Core. The Sephiroth that's kind of, like, awkward, shy, but, like, a friendly dude. He's, like, cracking jokes with Zack. He's covering for him. So, ja so Zach can, like, go save Aerith. Like, uh, I feel like we're going to get a Sephiroth kind of like that. That's, that's just a thought. That's a thought. Um, but I'm just saying. You know, and, and we better get, we better be able to play Zach in this game. Okay, now that one's he actually 50-50. Better... I, we, I will actually, fucking Actually, let me rephrase riot. that. That's more of a, this is more of a 60-40. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I want... Zack is, like, my favorite. I cannot stress this enough how much I love this man. He is my absolute favorite. Love Cloud, love Aerith. Zack is number one in my heart. He's perfect. I don't believe you. <laughs> you have not seen Whoa. my merch. You have not seen my figures. <laughs> is that a threat? I love him Sounds so much. Sounds kind of like a threat. That's a little, a little threatening, but okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, and like you said, I think we're going to get a little bit more of like the deep round stuff. Um, a lot of very familiar characters from Dirge of Cerberus, which I'm going to just say it was my least favorite game. I played it exactly once and hated every single solitary second of it. I respect you that's, now. I yeah, it looks like Aaron playing, has yeah. a stomach ache. Damn, I wonder how that it happened. Was, it was it was a fucking awful game, just bad to play and not fun. Um, but I think we're gonna we're gonna get some more deep ground lore. We're gonna see some familiar characters. We're gonna see what was his name Weiss. Um, we're gonna see oh what was that bitch's name? Oh yeah, Rosso de Crimson. <laughs> she was so fucking ridiculous. I hated her. Um, we're gonna we're gonna see those guys again. Um, now next... with better writing. Now with better yeah. writing. Jesus Christ. Because they could actually, I'm sure they could actually be interesting characters. Yeah, they, they technically were supposed to be, as a concept, not those individual characters, but as a yeah. concept, they were supposed to be in the original Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, it would I have been interesting it. as hell if it had been written competently. Damn. I agree, Fuck. but still, the burn. Sorry, I'm speaking my truth over here. Um... <laughs> As for the third question, um, what new feature and gameplay alterations are you most interested in and why? I'm ready for anything they're willing to throw at me. Any weird gameplay decisions they make, bring it the fuck on. See, if she just hadn't said just... gameplay, I could have had so much fun with that statement. <laughs> uh... uh, hey. Um, no, just just bring it on, throw it at me, I will adjust. I will adjust around whatever weirdness you want to give me because at least you're keeping it interesting. Um, the only thing I'm really thinking about right now is the golden saucer and the mini games there. I cannot 
fucking wait for that shit. You have no idea. Bruh. I am like bouncing Bruh. in my seat thinking about those mini games, which is so stupid. It's so dumb, but I'm just I'm even sitting even here like, like I can me. honestly only call off like maybe two games in my entire history of playing video games that got close to matching the gold saucer. Only two RPGs in my entire history got close to matching the gold saucer. And yeah. here comes the original OG saying, oh, no, nah, we did that. And then some, I can't wait. Yeah, Yo. no, I'm so excited. I can't. Oh, fucking hell. Give me whatever weird shit they want to give me. I will adjust. I'm just happy to have something new with Final Fantasy VII. I'm just happy that something new is happening. I'm just here for the vibes. <laughs> and the stomach aches. All right, so is that it for you? Yeah, that's it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're, we're going to have so much fun. And now apparently uh, Zax is, is going gonna, is gonna to ruin Destroy everything. Hope. Yes. All right. I need to give you Zetsubo and Despair. Despair. Fucking Christ. I mean, it's not it's not my fault. I didn't make the meme. I just apply it when it needs to be applied. So, who here wants to believe Aerith is going to live through the entire events of Final Fantasy VII Remake? One, two, and three. Please tell me your names. Sorry, you cut uh, now y'all get what? quiet. Really? No, sorry, you cut off. Ain't this some shit? I said, <laughs> raise your hands and tell me your names if you think that Aerith is going to live through this entire trilogy. Please tell me. I don't listen. Listen, I have. I have to say, I think it will be an option. I think they will make it hard as fuck, but I do think it's going to be an option. Do you see what Sephiroth is doing on the screen? Yeah. Is that you right now? <laughs> yes. He's laughing at you. Do you know why he's laughing at you? Oh, I can only imagine. 2006 or 7. And 2018 or 19. Final Fantasy Advent Children Complete Blu-ray and Final Fantasy Advent Children Complete 4K UHD Edition. Had about, ooh, two hours of extra material. One of those was a long format interview with Tetsuya Nomura. And do you know what one of the first things he was asked was? If you, no. If you could do a Final Fantasy VII remake, would you change the fate of Aerith? Would you like to know what he said? Uh, was it no? <laughs> My only thing is yes. mine's changed. Yes, but also he said he could never see it happening because it's too important and integral to the history and story of Final Fantasy VII. Aerith has to stay dead. I disagree. Mm. I do disagree. Oh, and here's yes. why. See, here's the thing. Um, he works there and is in charge of the game. So what does that but mean? But he's not doing all the story this also, time. Also, it's a shit, different it. it's a different story. I'm oh, I'm yes, thinking maybe. about this as a different oh, could, thing entirely. This isn't Final Fantasy VII oh, as yes. we know it. This I is a whole new combat. animal. God, if I, I may say resist. one thing, Please however, keep resisting. I love it. Mm, I'm all right. They, all right, uh, I'm waiting. They already killed off Eris and everyone else. No, not really. They showed, you know. How everyone went to an alternate uni universe, and then in the original one, oh yeah, brought out their bodies. Hey, um, the planet died 500 years later. Everyone died of natural causes except for Aerith. She got a bellyache from Sephiroth. Oh, no wait, technically Red 13 died because he was probably still around given his unusual lifespan. Maybe Vincent. So, as I was saying... If the person who is put in charge of the entire remake trilogy as a collective whole and as a producer says that that motherfucker gonna stay dead, 
I'm inclined to believe that motherfucker going to stay dead. Will you see her more than you did in the original game? Absolutely. But is that motherfucker going to stay dead? Yes. Okay, Hate but me. several years ago, he also said that they would never do a remake. Well, he and also he acknowledged are. and admitted that that was a lie. Okay, then. So I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, if he's going to lie about something like that, anything is possible. And I will wait until the, See, the day of judgment. I what's, will wait until the day of judgment. That's a very, very fun wager. Let me see. Hmm. Oh. I feel like I, I should will make pay the you same. an hmm. extra hour for absolutely nothing other than the fact that I had to accept defeat. If Aerith makes it through the entire remake trilogy without getting slaughtered by Sephiroth. Okay, you're on. Also, you know, yeah, I'm up for this. When she dies yeah. again, and she's going to die again, I want you to record it. I want to see those tears. You want to see the tears? Yes. All right, all right. And don't be dressed as Aerith when you do it. I, I won't. <laughs> that would be... The cringiest. I think I would cringe out of my own skin if I did something like that. I'm not no, 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 no. I, I would. That's fine. It's just you're not gonna do it with a sword in your belly, so it doesn't have the same impact for me. You can fake that. Yep. Photoshop exists. Okay, now that I've properly dispatched pairs to everyone, are you liking that there will be plot reorganizations? At first, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure because there's a difference between adding to the story and changing it and keeping the same plot points because they keep saying that that's what they're doing. They're changing the story, but keeping the same plot points. However, this is Japan. We're talking about most of the people that have ever worked or written for Square Enix were not trained writers ever, ever. So I get what they mean now, and I'm more comfortable with what, now that they've explained their logic now. Basically, it boils down to the original people like that the new guy came up with a lot of this shit. Don't get me wrong, Nomura gets a lot of credit, or depending on who you ask, flack for when a story that he's involved with in any way, shape, or form, whether he wrote it or not, does some loopy, illogical, unnecessarily complex shit. Looking at you, Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Or just yeah, anything no one has put his hands on that he's had direct control over. Um, Don't fucking get me started on Kingdom Hearts. Oh, I, I, the only reason I haven't is because I want to make sure that there's enough hard drive space before we go and shit on that. Don't get me wrong. I've thought about literally you and me trashing Kingdom Hearts. I would be here all day. Yes, that that's the yeah. issue. That's not a bad thing. It's a long. do I have enough space on my hard drive situation? The answer is no. <laughs> Hey, I got four externals. I'll make, I'll make something work. Anyways. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> There's know. a lot to say. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, And that's before we even get to three. Um, oh, God. So, yeah. which I don't, I don't, I don't know why people want me to play it so bad. Have you seen the PC mods? Like, no, I know they're Ugh. really cool, but here's the thing. I'd rather get PC mods for Kingdom Hearts 1 and or 2. They're making up brand new playable characters and giving them style switches like it's Devil May Cry. So, um, I will throw up inside my fucking computer if somebody tells me to play fucking Kingdom Hearts. I swear to God, <laughs> that'd be a waste of computer. Oh, I will open violence. it up and vomit directly inside my computer. The soundtrack's good though. <laughs> the soundtrack is fucking I mean, fire. I mean, they Yoko got Shimomura. they got the lady that made good all the shit. Street Fighter Two music, and they pretty much never let her go. So I ain't mad at them for the soundtrack. Um, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, so, anyways, all right, so, fucking, I do and don't like it, but for different reasons. So, one of the funnest things I wasn't expecting to happen was that people like us two, us three, have been able to have so much addictive fun just talking about the things that are different and where, they're, where, where they may lead. 
But also at the same time, we all have that part of us in the back of our head like, why not let us see the original format with this new combat system, with new materia, in this 3D with actual voice acting for the first time literally ever? Why not do that? But also in that same, like I said, it's that dichotomy. I also like what they're doing now because I like that I can go and have a conversation with someone 15 years younger than me play who played remake and got stupid curious went back and played regular seven and now they're yes. coming to me zach zach i went and beat regular seven cool can we please have theory talk fuck yeah bro nice bro i like that i'm torn and one of the things i've been saying the only thing that they have not done for me which i've wanted them to do let's let's recap because this even happened before i met you officer you may remember this in bits and fragments but i went back and watched the videos but reminder the dude that we got on the show, who used to be the youngest guy here, Corey, Corey Troy, the voice actor. I met him at E3. One of the main reasons I wanted him on this channel was because we were going to talk Final Fantasy VII shit, right? And I said in one of the earliest videos when they first started showing off combat and gameplay, they made it look like they did team attacks. So I said, yes, I want them to do dual attacks like they're in Chrono Trigger. Now that's in, now that's in part two. Oh, yes, they're making certain bo uh, battles and boss fights that were normally very very minor into bigger and buffer their mini bosses or bosses i was right they did that i want there to be team attacks. even want, house yeah i want there to be more than um a hell house and also or hell house, yeah. uh that one thing that has that weapon for Aerith that you have to steal to get it because you can't get it out anywhere else in the game oh yeah yeah i don't yeah. know what's called the horseman um elegor yeah i think that's what it's called or elecor either way and something they did that and that's what i wanted i wanted them to elongate or expand certain areas of the story not make new alterations to it and they did that and now we even got fusion materia something i literally wanted back in 1997 that i can't find anything that they've done that i objectively can say i am angry that this is in here there are some purists out there but here's my problem with the purists they're only the purists because they didn't actually try remake or they want to they keep making themselves suffer because they want to play the whole thing from beginning to end so they're not going to play remake they're not going to play part two they're not going to they're only going to play part three when all three have come out and i don't understand why you would do that if you call yourself a fan because first off it's uh this remake is good but it's like any other video game if we don't buy the shit they're not gonna make a part three if we didn't buy the first part they weren't gonna make a part two let's be yeah. real they're not gonna keep we love the game the producers love this game but a corpo exec don't give two shits oh this made us negative money and the last president basically got fired because he made us negative money hell ye hell no nah, we ain't gonna continue this shit oh well so i think that's more detrimental but at the same time the same people and i got friends like this and they're nice they're actually nice disrespectful people they don't go around you know calling somebody out their name online just because they like something that they hate like it hasn't we haven't evolved into the star wars community i'm so glad yeah oh fuck. Yeah, yeah so but i'm like why you you, the you, can't, you can't be mad at this because if you stop and think about it once you get all once you play it you'll understand that they're not trying to get rid of the memories and joy that we had they're trying to enhance what happened but also give us old folks something new to look at the goal was never to completely change the story. It was to give old folks like us uh, interest in buying it besides here's new graphics, here's audio that isn't just music, and here's a new combat system. And also, let's not forget, the only thing they haven't done, because technically it's not over yet, that I want them to do, and I've said this before, if they do a one-to-one -one where once this is all over, they go back, make a DLC where you literally get to play the original Final Fantasy VII in one-to-one -one order, all the enemies, all the shit original dialogue and or re-recordings where applicable and the characters went with the combat system from that they have now through the whole original story in order with none of the new time shit and whisper shit why why i i wouldn't be mad that they would make stupid money i'm gonna do it with advent children clothes on but i don't huh. get that's and that's why i say i love it and i hate it but I more so love it. Let me put it that way. I, I like that they're doing changes because none of the changes are meant to damage the overall story. And if they are, it's by an accident. It's not intentional. Yeah. Barring one exception. 
because she's going to stay dead. Now, moving oh, on. Okay. Look, you're getting somebody back, okay? Does that make you feel better? You're getting somebody who you would love to take through the rest of the game. Did you play Final Fantasy VIII? Um, yes. Ages okay. and ages and ages ago, but yes. Okay. Well, there you go. You, you'll be able to play Zack. Are you, are you at least happy about that? You, you lose Aerith, mm-hmm. but you get Zack. You happy? I did say Zack is my absolute favorite. Good. And Aerith dying is my absolute favorite thing in the world. So we both okay. win. Uh, I don't know if he'll have a different uh, techniques list from Cloud. But what I can guarantee you, though, is that you will play Zack. Happy? Happy. Okay. Satisfied. Good. Because you're not keeping Aerith. So, now moving on. We'll see. Oh, my fuck. It. <laughs> I'm in denial. Yes. But that's I will be okay. in denial. I will be in denial until I see her die on screen. And I will be happy and delighted once you see her die on screen. Fine. I will do exactly we'll as see. Sephiroth does, and I will laugh and giggle. Okay, so moving on to part two, because we kind of jumped all over just because I wanted to give you Zetsubo. Uh, the alteration theories for part two for me are very, very simple. Um, now, very few people have had actual good leaks. What I've been seeing is someone has a rumor, which is really a theory, and someone decides that that theory is either a rumor or it's either a leaked objective fact. That annoys me because now you're taking people who are not being leakers and trying to elevate them to leakers when they never were in the first place. There are people who think you can play Zach. That is a theory. Yes. However, there are play testers who have confirmed that that's going to be a thing. That doesn't tell me the context. Reminder, VR training missions. You can play people even when you couldn't play people. Barrett basically yep. removes himself from your party for no good fucking reason, and I'm still pissed about that, for that final little chapter of uh, Final Fantasy VII until you get to Sephiroth, right? But you could play him in a VR mission. So for all we know, Sephiroth and Zack will be unlockable in VR missions. And even if they're not, PC mods, bruh. We all know where they're coming. Also, I feel like it is a little bit broken that Sephiroth's limit break gauge filled by a fourth after doing a fucking limit break. That is stupid. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that shit was broken. Double helix. Oh, yeah. Uh, I know she's going to like double helix. I just hope she doesn't moan out loud. Anyways. um, so well done. Yeah, the whole crossing swords thing and that face that they make at each other. They, they did that specifically for the women. Let's not bullshit. <laughs> yeah, well... I can believe it. I'm not going to complain. Hey, officer, if you get a chance, uh, pull up double helix for. Um, so I think that we're going to go through the Final Fantasy VIII scenario, which is why I mentioned it earlier to Honeybee. Now, for the uninitiated, because Final Fantasy VIII is not getting remade. In fact, it's getting skipped over and we're getting nine. But we don't know if it's just going to be a new TV show or if it's going to be a new TV show and a new game. Um, and I don't give a shit about part three of Final Fantasy X having a skeleton crew. I honestly don't. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like, even if I wanted to be interested, ten two happened, so I don't trust them with that shit. Oh, I don't either. Yeah, Mm-mm. see what happens when you know I more of things. No. See what happens when you know more of things? I did not need ten two. Yeah. Ten two doesn't exist. Nobody asked for that. I mean, I won't say it don't exist. Dirge of Cerberus all day. Like, why is that here? I treat Fuck. Dirge of Cerberus like the stereotypical redheaded stepchild. Ew, why the fuck? Is yeah, there it me? is. Get away. Shoo. Ew. Yeah, so, no, nobody asked for any of that. In Final Fantasy VIII, your characters would randomly have massive headaches and go unconscious, and you would be playing this guy named Laguna, and a black stripper, a black male stripper, and a stereotypical lovable, lovable big guy. Pretty Don't much. ask me whose idea that was. I have, an, I have a sneaking suspicion. But... You played them. They had their own stats. They had their own storyline. And you couldn't go back to your original characters until you did whatever elements you needed to do. And then your characters soon realized, wait a minute, we all had those memories. They're going to do that, but it'll be altered. Zack is in a place where 
the main cast of Final Fantasy VII are unconscious or dead or they're in a state where they are not able, probably due to the whispers or something Aerith is doing, Super Aerith, not regular Aerith, Super Aerith who, who lives in the live stream with Minerva and shit is doing to try to preserve or protect him for some strange reason that we don't know. Maybe Sephiroth could be trying to do it as well. Maybe he should view Zack as a backup access to moving through time. Reminder, the way they kind of sort of play off time manipulation in Final Fantasy VII is number one, you need water because water is connected to live stream in some type of way. And number two, you can also use live stream. You can use live stream to move through places and times that live stream has existed. So far, to our knowledge, Sephiroth has only been able to go back based on people who remember. Basically, he pulled some Kingdom Hearts shit because that's how Kingdom Hearts time travel works. But instead of being limited to where your body is, he can go through people that remember him. So he obviously doesn't fucking like Hojo. So who's the next best bet? Genesis and Anjil and Zack. Well, Genesis, basically, even though he's an asshole, he hates Sephiroth on some level. There's a, it's supposed to be a competition. They're supposed to be friends. But over time, it kind of got murky. It got really weird and murky. Anjil is killed by Zack. So who does that leave? That leaves Zack, Cloud, maybe Kunzel, but really Zack and Cloud. Right? So he has his own little Zack over here doing his thing. Remember, Sephiroth absorbed and gained control over the Whispers. When you go to look at Zack when he was fighting and the Whispers show up, they did shit, or it's implied that they did shit to make it easier for Zax to live. Now, Aerith, theoretically, we're thinking, everyone thought Aerith was the person who was helping Zax survive because we just like the idea. Even I said it back in my old theory. We like the idea of Aerith helping out Zack. Here's the problem with that. She would have to have known when and where Zack died. When she's in the live stream, when she first comes across Zack, he can't fully remember her yet according to on the way to a smile and mind you everything in remake takes place literally after advent children we went backwards in time but that happened only after the events of advent children so eventually at some point he got his memory back or he just remembers cloud and Aerith slowly filled in the the gap in time from when he died right now maybe yeah and here's the thing he died before she did so the fact that his consciousness was so strong that he could maintain his ego and self-awareness without being a Cetra is fucking ridiculously impressive. And what does Sephiroth need again to move through backwards through time? He needs to be remembered. He's like Maleficent, basically, but time traveling style Maleficent. So now he's in Zack, as although that image is terrible, I'm sure some people here enjoy that. Um... Here's the thing. That's why I think he did something. I specifically think he did something because he gains control of the whispers. So we have to ask ourselves, why is he keeping Zack alive? Why does he need Zack to make sure he gets Cloud's comatose state all the way to uh, Midgard? Right? Now, he eventually comes across Aerith's mother. I don't even know if he... I don't even think he met Eris mother in Crisis Core. I don't think he did, no. Yeah. And so far, as far as relationships and connections go, everybody's relationships are identical. The only change is... They change Rufus's age, Cloud's age, and Zack's age. They are literally the only three people who had an age change. Huh. Yeah. So, that's 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 it really for me as far as that. I think Sephiroth is the one who wants Zack to show up to replace Cloud potentially when his mind gets broken. Because I think he's going to try to have one of them be a body for him. Because remember, Sephiroth is half of a body. He's, ah. Yeah. Because, reminder... The Sephiroth that's stuck in the giant crystal or crystallized live stream has his eyes closed. He doesn't know what the fuck's going on. 
the current Sifroth from Advent Children, we don't know what he's going to do to that other Sifroth or if he's just going to send a messenger to let him know, hey, here's some things I need you to change. Or if that other Sifroth is even going to be on his side. Because you got to remember, yep. Sifroth is the definition of slow descent into madness. Sifroth isn't evil because he did, woke up and decided it. Sephiroth is evil because he's filled to the brim with the malefic aura and cellular, literal cellular information of Genova, which has a negative effect on the human brain and the human mind. And it feeds off of negative emotions and also it can read minds. So if Genova wants to get control of Sephiroth, it has to make him suffer. It has to make him be, feel sad and be crazy and if you notice he basically was resisting it or it was never a problem his entire life but that didn't change until the fucking retcon until genesis tells him you're a monster just like us fucking hate genesis however i will acknowledge when he's punking zach that shit's kind of funny huh. all right well i unfortunately must be going so farewell for now yeah, it's it's starting to get to the time that I am going to have to wrap up very soon as well. I mean, I was, I was pretty much done too. Um, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Ah, so gotcha. I think that at the end of the game, not based on people taking rumors as leaks, but based on playtesters, how I feel, and what's been going down with Zach being alive, separate from the main group, because now we officially have a confirmation. It's not just time travel and time manipulation. It's also alternate dimensions. Alternate timelines, okay. I guess, would be a better term. I think that Zach is going to go from the timeline he is on to a different one, but I don't know if it's because Sephiroth put him on that timeline or Aerith puts him on that timeline because there's something that both Aerith and Sephiroth are trying to do or get out of Cloud's body or the fact that Cloud has a mental connection directly to both of them. Now, final one. New features. I know it sounds weird. I actually hate the fused materia. I fucking hate them. I really do. Do you remember the master oh. materia? Uh, yeah. Okay. They're busted. They're supposed to be busted. They're basically an in-game special. I get it. I like it. My problem with the fused green materia is a very simple problem. I have no okay. controller say so in how they're fused. Now, in Crisis Core... It was kind of cool, but even then there were things they knew not to do, like don't put two elements together. I don't like that it's only the green material that can get that shit. That's like the mm -hmm. only thing I hate. The thing I'm looking the most forward to is the thing I've, I've wanted literally since before the game was announced and I thought was going to be in the first one. I like the Chrono Trigger team attacks. I know we all said it, but I like how yeah. they're done. I don't know if you've heard it or not. Seriously, just go watch the demo gameplay footages. They have a skill tree now. Everybody has a skill tree now. Not the okay. weapons. The characters individually have skill trees now. Huh. But the way they get new techniques is by how unified they are in game when you make them fight. So if you want to get moves with uh, Cat Sith, who will still sit in the back of my party just like he did in 1997, you make him fight alongside in a close proximity somebody else. And they and eventually over time they'll get a they'll get a bunch of team attacks and a limit break. Here's the coolest thing I like though, yo. They don't cost ATB gauges. The team okay. attacks don't cost ATB gauges. Fucking love that. I'm looking forward to the combination of Barrett and Tifa shit. Because I don't know how that's going to work, but the best part is it'll be able to cover every single possible range. Because Barrett is going to shoot something. Tifa is going to get up close to you and do something. Or... Tifa will beat your ass while Barrett charges up for a ridiculously OP shot. Maybe he comes in for close for a physical attack at the end of it. I don't care. But the concept of the monk and the ranger having team attacks, fun as hell. One of the most underappreciated classes in all of Dungeons and Dragons themed uh, assets is the monk. People oh, will, yeah? yeah, people will drop a monk just because it doesn't fit the aesthetics of medieval high fantasy. Fuck you. I like monks. Okay, um, noted. Damn. Yeah. So, uh, other than that, um, I do like the fact that you will be able to, it wasn't in the demo, but they said you can do it, 
since all your characters are on screen at once, you will be able to switch out a character if they die instead of feeling bad and possibly restarting your whole entire fucking save file. I hated doing that in Remake. I don't know about you. But if I got four characters or five characters and Aerith dies, not, not gloating this time, and I want to switch her with Barrett, why the fuck can't I switch her with Barrett? God damn it. Yeah. Okay, valid. Yeah. So that now you can actually option. do that. That's actually being, an option now. Also, being able to switch out characters mid combat was like my favorite part of FF10. Yeah, and you have a PS5 now, right? Yeah, I did do. You, did you finish Intergrade? I did not. What the fuck? I, I have been I have been in Baldur's Gate hell for so fucking long. I don't know where the exit is. First off, that sounds like a hell you like, so I don't know why you said hell. I like this. I like this hell. Because I live there and there's no escape. Okay, so None. did you at least buy it? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's bought. It's been bought. Okay, so they started previewing team attacks in Integrate. Mm -hmm. You press L2 and Yuffie's in charge and Sonan will literally start attacking anytime you press the attack button. Also, she gets a completely different set of ATB attacks. Okay. Now, if you separate them, he's independent, obviously. But there are certain things you can do just by linking them up. Like, if you get bound, that one status effect you can't pretty much change. You just have to hit something until it stops. He'll automatically save you from it. Also, if you press it when you're separate and you get knocked back, he'll show up and he'll reduce the recovery time from you getting knocked back by an attack, whether it hurts a lot or hurts a little. Also, you can fight the Ramu summon in their gameplay mode. Oh, okay. Yeah, and you'll get him too. Um, so yeah, uh, Yuffie's shit was they 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 previewed team attacks essentially. Now that system isn't going to be a one to one of what happens in part two, but they previewed it, right? Yeah. Fucking the way I look at it, and I'm 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 legitimately not bullshitting when I say this. They were experimenting on what would eventually become part two's team attack system. And I like the fact that the skill tree is there. There's nothing about it I don't like. One thing does bother me though. I still have to go through that motherfucker Chadley and play some side quest bullshit to get new materia. Motherfucker, just let Fucking me get Chadley. new materia by going to a store. No, I like fighting the summons. However, the summons are also going to be in existence. They're not just going to be VR spaces. So you can go someplace where you will see a summon. They even heavily hinted that Gilgamesh might be in this game. But I fucking... That's the only thing I have a problem with. I don't want any new materials to be tied into Chadley anymore. I want to be able mm -hmm. to just go to a new store, find them in a treasure map on the screen, or complete some quests and just get them. Not get the ability to buy them from Chadley. Yes, they did do everything, but I don't want Charlie to be attached to the materia system at all. Let him give me some cool accessories and bangles and weapons still. And the more yeah. I build up my radar antenna that lets me show off the game map, the more um, items I can buy from him in advance instead of waiting till I get to maybe near the end game, the final store before the final boss. That's cool. But no, they didn't do that. They just said, hey, you want this cool, unique materia? Chadley got you, bro. But he can't give you that shit until you... Increase his Wi-Fi range. I'm not joking. That's actually what those quests are. Chadley's entire quest line is, please go to these antennas so you can increase my Wi-Fi range. Mm -hmm. So I, as an individual AI, can explore most of the human world. That's legitimately the only thing I hate. Also, side note, you can swim now. Okay. Um, that, so, I'm going to have to no, that like wrap end. up because no, I am, that was the I've missed dinner. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, you are the only person I tell, hey, you can eat while we do this and who never does it. Um, I know. I don't want to be rude, though. It's and not I hate rude. The sound you just go chewing. to mute so I can't hear you chewing. Okay, fair. Anyways. But also, I'm afraid. I'm, t I'm like, nervous that you're going to, like, ask me a question and I'm going to have, like, food in my mouth and I'm going to have to quickly swallow or try to quickly swallow and then I'll choke and die and you'll never know. I'm going to put that in the me, front like, of the video. hear me, like, gasping and choking. I'm going to put that in the front of the video. Okay. You do well, it. Well, with that being said, uh, uh, viewers, I hope you had fun um, seeing a dead Aerith and me talking about a future corpse. And I will see you guys in the next one. Where is the end?
Bye.